everyone, it's me, Ella the Inventable, and as you can see, today I'm outside again, and today I'm making a piñata because my steam challenge is to make the tallest building. So, I'm going to go over a tour of the bar shape. The neck is a tomato cage. Um, we taped it onto a box, which is going to be the body. And the head and tail are both balloons. Okay? So that is the tour of the bar shape. Okay, so to make paper mache, you're going to need a newspaper or paper bag and scissors. And you're going to need to cut it into a bunch of strips of paper. To make the paste for the paper mache, you mix flour and water, I mean, water and flour until they make a thick paste. This looks like a good consistency. Before you stick it onto the box, you need to make sure that both sides of the newspaper is dipped in paper mache. Then you're going to place it on. Once the piñata is covered, you let it dry overnight and then we will add a second layer. Okay, so now that the thing at the body is dry, we're going to use this box to cut and roll up the legs and put them on the piñata. Okay, so I used adult help um, to cut out the legs and these tabs. So now we're going to take these tabs and we're either going to put glue or tape on them. And we're going to stick them on the corner like that on all four edges. One, two, three, four. Okay, okay, so we've taped on all four legs and we tried to get them kind of even. Okay, so now we're going to see if our piñata stands. Moment of truth! <gasps> and it does. <laughs> and check it out. Look how tall it is. And <laughs> let's see. How tall it really is. Wow, it's literally almost as tall as me. It goes up to weight here. Okay, now we are going to flip on its back and paper mache its legs and bomb side.
Anyway, so yeah, we gave the legs a few days to dry. And now we added some balloons. We added two balloons for the ears and two balloons on top for the ossicons, which are kind of two horns called ossicons. They add weight to the giraffe's head. So yeah. I'm not I'm not sure that I want mine to be a piñata anymore. But if you do, make sure that you add a lot of paper mache up here where you're going to hang it from. Okay, so if you are going to do a piñata, now might now is a good time to go and get a wire a wire clothes hanger and then poke two holes in the top of the giraffe's head. And then you put it in so that then you're all ready to hang it when you're going to batter up. Okay, so we've paper mache on the ears and also cone. Now we just let it dry. Okay, the paper mache has dried, so now you're going to mix water with glue, um, not too much, kind of like the paste. And you're going to need some yellow tissue paper and a brush. We're using a sponge brush. Okay, so now you're going to dip the sponge brush or the brush into the liquid paste thingy. And then you're going to brush it on. Okay? Um, so you are going to walk in small sections. So, before you put on the tissue paper. Okay? Okay, we've covered the piñata and tissue paper, and now the hard part, wait, okay? So yeah, we now wait and let it dry. Okay, so the giraffe skin has dried, all right. So now we are going to add the spots. So we are using brown tissue paper and we mixed um. Glue with water, okay? Not too much water. Okay, so you're going to take that water and glue mix and you're going to get a paintbrush and kind of just paint it on a little spot. You're going to paint a little spot on the skin and then put the spot on. Okay, so we took some Mod Podge and we cut out, um, so the inside of a giraffe's ears are black, like, kind of like ours are peach, but instead, theirs are black, as you can see over here on this ear. So we cut out the ears and the top of the ossicons, and we Mod Podge them on. And I ha and I just happened to have some glitter Mod Podge handy, so we went ahead, cut out some eyelashes, and put little Mod Podge on them. Um, let's see here. Let me see if I can do it so you can see. <laughs> you probably couldn't. So yeah, that is our piñata giraffe. And you can use it for anything. Like, if you wanted to do a piñata, sure, go ahead. But... I don't. This is actually kind of, I decided to make a play structure for our toys. So, yeah. Bye, everyone.